What is going on everybody? How you doing today? Jim Games here and in today's video I'm going to be reacting to Juna who's a uh, looks like a very young Japanese drummer uh, with her drum cover of uh, Through Fire and Flames by a band called Dragon Force. Now, if you know anything about Dragon Force, you know exactly how good these guys are. Uh, they are incredibly technical. Uh, their skill is just, and their technique and execution is just, uh, it's, it's bar none. Uh, it's just, it's up there. Uh, so I'm really curious to see what this girl could do because she looks, uh, well, kind of cute. She looks like a young little, uh, cute little teenager or something. Uh, she could be older. Who knows? I'm, I'm bad at ages. Uh, but if you're new around here, please consider liking and subscribing. I do this sort of thing all the time, and I'd love to have you here. All right, let's uh, switch screens, and uh, let's see what Juni can do. All right, so this actually came up a, a while ago. People said I should check her out many, many months ago, and for whatever reason, I just couldn't get around to it or I had too much on my plate. But today, I just saw on a list of things to check out, and I'm finally getting to it now. So thank you for bearing with me and waiting this long for me to get to this reaction. Uh, this is going to be my first experience with her. Um, let's see here. I guess we'll just uh, we'll get right on in into it. I don't have too much information off this uh, screen here, so let's just go. Here we go. How much fun she's having. Go! Maybe here's a good spot. Uh, I was going to try and find a good frame to show you uh, her wrist placements here. Uh, she's absolutely killing it. I mean, and more than anything, it looks like she's just having a good time doing it, uh, which is you know, something I appreciate. She looks like she's having a blast. Uh, I can't quite tell how old she is. I don't know. She could be 12. She could be 30. Who knows? <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, but she looks very young to me. Uh, as far as her technique and uh, her execution, it seems like she's absolutely killing it. Uh, this song I believe I've heard in passing over the years, uh, but I'm not 100% familiar with uh, the Dragon Force's uh, original version of this song. Um, I've, I've heard it maybe a few times, but I've never really dissected it. But it seems like she's just uh, she's on mark here for the most part. Uh, I wanted to stop and kind of show you something. Uh, I wanted to show you her wrist placement, because she's not playing a traditional dra uh, jazz-style drum. And what I mean by that is this whole... The drumstick's almost held like a, almost like a chopstick-looking thing, if you're new to that. Uh, and then you just have a little more wrist uh, movement that way. She's holding it like a traditional rock drummer would, with just two sticks right there in her hands, uh, and her wrist just staying completely flat. Now, what's cool about this, if you pay really closely attention to it, uh, you'll see that her uh, her right hand, I guess my left and right there for a second, her right hand, her wrist placement, from her elbow down to where her thumb is, is almost in a complete straight line, which is kind of taxing on the body. It's a pain to hold things that way. It just feels kind of... Feels kind of off, but you have a little bit more control over the drumstick. Now, she's doing this, and she's making it look absolutely effortless. Uh, so really pay attention to her right hand if you want to see some great, uh, essentially, just control over the sticks. Um, and that's what you see in a lot of professional players. It's just leading me to believe that besides what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing is also um, a professional player here as well. Because uh, she's absolutely killing it. I don't think I could play like this, so... <laughs> uh, another quick thing here, too, is I'm not seeing anything mic'd up or anything, so I'm not sure. It must be... I don't know. It must just be overheads or something. Um, but let's let's get back to this little uh, this little jam here. But the main takeaway here, besides the fact that she's absolutely killing it, and she's obviously a fantastic drummer at a very young age, uh, the main takeaway that I'm enjoying is I'm enjoying watching her enjoy herself. Let's continue. Watch that right wrist if you can. Drag 
Dragon Force is so good too, man. Let's, let's talk a little bit about control, because that might be confusing to hear. Uh, wh what do you mean by control when you say your control is cr crazy on a drum kit? You know, you're hitting the drum, whatever, that's fine. But I want, to, if you can, pay attention to where she's hitting. Hopefully my dumb face isn't covering it. Uh, pay attention to where exactly she's hitting on the drum as well. Because if you're new to drums and you're not a drummer, uh, you'll notice that if you hit a different spot, you actually get a different uh, tone out of them. Uh, and it's almost the exact same spot every single time. And these aren't new heads. I mean, look how beat up that Tom is right there. Uh, but if you notice, I mean, it's almost the execution and, and the precision and what I'm just calling control on is just fantastic. It's almost like she's hitting the exact same spot to get that same beautiful tone. And again, that's something you're not really going to know unless you have an educated ear for something like that. And it's also something that most people wouldn't even notice, but it just is another layer on top of our showcasing just how good of a drummer uh, she is. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic to witness. Let's let's just keep going. Uh, so uh, again... Pay attention to the wrist movement and pay attention to the control as to where she's actually hitting the drum uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Here we go. What is she doing? Little break there, I guess. Exhausted for her. Wow. This girl can play. Juna. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have no idea how old she is. Let's just take this back and uh, we'll kill that audio and just get you a visual. Wow, this girl can play. <laughs> this girl can play. 
My main takeaway, though, my main takeaway is, you know, I've seen Amazing Drummers before. That's not something that's truly shocking to me. Um, my main takeaway is almost just how much fun she's having, how much she truly enjoys this. Like, you can just kind of see it oozing out of her. She's smiling. She's rocking her head. She's just having a grand old time. Uh, she's got some fantastic technique, some awesome control, and um, it doesn't seem like she misses a beat. Like, it seems like, like I was tired for her watching that performance. I'm like, oh, my God, this girl's going to have to slow down at some point. I mean, she's just a tiny little thing, you know? She's got to get tired. Uh, apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> this girl has got a, uh, a lot of energy. Uh, but yeah, her control, her technique, uh, and execution is bar none. And it's, uh, it's quite impressive. Uh, I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing this reaction earlier, honestly, because, um, I, uh, I enjoy watching her. I enjoy watching her. It's great watching people play instruments and having fun doing it and, uh, just really, truly enjoying themselves. And that's kind of what I'm seeing right here. I'm seeing a fantastic musician, uh, play a phenomenal song and just enjoying the hell out of it. And I mean, what's not to love about something like that? Uh, yeah, I'd love to see more of her work. I'd love to see her cover some other songs too. Uh, like I said, I I'm familiar with the song through Fire and Flames. Uh, I did a reaction to that uh, a couple months back, and someone said I had to check out Juna uh, almost immediately right after that reaction. And I just haven't had a chance to get around to it. But um, this is intriguing, and it's just it's it's so pleasure. It's just such a pleasure to watch something like this too, because there's so many things to dissect. Um, and even now, just watching now without any sound on it, like I'm, I'm hearing different things, or I'm seeing different things, rather. And uh, But I'll touch on that in other videos if I decide to cover her more. Uh, if you have any other songs you think I should check out from her, uh, or any other covers or anything like that, please post them down in the comments. I truly appreciate it, because uh, I think she's cool. I think, it's, I think this is really, really cool. And she's obviously a fantastic player. I'm a little confused as to how this is recorded. I'm assuming there's got to be some sort of overhead mics. Uh, but whoever did that did a pretty decent job, because uh, the acoustics that we're getting out of this performance for just being overheads uh, and possibly, I don't know, maybe just a kick mic or condenser or something like that, uh, is, is pretty dang good. But it looks like she's in some kind of studio environment with uh, right paneling and whatnot in the walls, so that could be a part of it as well. But uh, yeah, what a pleasure to watch. Juna. If anybody knows how old she is too, please let me know, because like I said, I'm guessing somewhere between 12 and 30. I can never tell. I can never tell with people. I'm always pretty bad at that. But uh, if you enjoyed your time with me today, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, I do this sort of thing all the time, and I'd love to have you here. All right, guys. I'm going to catch you out in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.